Hello again, this is your host Pearls doing a Let's Play of Beethro's Brain by Discorin. And it's a lot of fun so far. I'm on a really colorful floor that's color-y themed or something. And right now I'm trying to guide a queen in circles. And we'll see how that goes here. I get like, I can hit this. And I probably don't want her to close all the stuffs yet. And I can only like rotate in a very specific path through here. So hit that. Uh, why not, right? Oh, that's, that's not supposed to work. I don't know that I can get her out of there without retoggling something. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't... Oh, great, she's made a... That's something I will consider before I hit this orb. I will wait till the 30th, so I have plenty of time to uh, do things. Maybe I need... No, 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 no. Do I need to have her hit that? I mean, it's a one-time press, so if I... Actually, that's a really good path. Hold on. Uh-huh. And then, oops, and then I can turn him right around there, and... Oh, well, that didn't quite do what I thought it did. Let me try that again with a little more pl planning. Wait till the 30. Strike. Hit. Turn. Uh, so you know it would be nice is if it came up like this angle road here. So maybe I can get the roach to go like around and then turn like this, like that. Yes, 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 yes. And then I can go stab it in the face. Like, ha! Perfect. Okay, that was that was clever. The cool linchpin of hit the tile that seems like a bad thing to hit. Very nice. All right, cruising right along. Mm, I'm gonna avoid that one for now. I'm actually gonna go try that platform puzzle, just because I know I'm gonna regret myself. Regret myself? Regret. I will have regret. Keep playing, friends, and you will not regret. Uh, uh, okay, that's kind of. I got an alpha and omega and a duck. This is a duck, as you can clearly see. It's a duck. Or yep, it's a duck. I definitely just checked. According to Wikipedia, that's a duck. I don't know, is it even useful to use that? Do I have to use that? This seems really, really elaborate. What's going on here? So, oh, I see. This is a, a hold once plate thing. So I once I step off it, it retoggles closed, so I can't open the eye. So I definitely need to guide the snake down here, such that I can do some business. This is probably not the smartest way to move that. <laughs> Let's try this again. Or some or something. Yeah, I can probably do that. Is there enough room here to make this stack this way? Like, what's the gap here? Hold on, I can't really see because it turns out open space doesn't do the whole checkerboard grid all that effectively. But well, let's just take a look. If I sneak you up here, oh well. Oh, that'll definitely reach if I... Yeah, I have two of the small platforms, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna save while I have this all in some semblance of the position. Okay, this is definitely gonna have to be here. Just might work. All right, he's not going to be alive very long, so I'm going to go ahead and take one of these platforms to beeline to. Oh yeah, that was a good plan. <laughs> I had literally one turn to spare there. Okay, but at least the room's done. So another pretty cool room. I'm wondering if that was really the intended solution because I totally kind of just skipped out on the rest of this. Uh, you know, I'm not going to jinx it. I'm just going to leave. 
Okay. Briar Room, you were very fun too. Oh boy, what's next? I go with this one. I haven't even seen it yet, so. What? That is a lot of decoy potions. So many, in fact, that I can't even step on the platform without having to use. Never mind. And we got, what is this, a mimic? Nope, it's a turret. Or a automaton death machine spins in circles, kills the children's. That's what it's for. It's also the stuff of nightmares, which is convenient. I'll give you a hint why. Um, because it was in the Friday the 13th. That's why. Uh, that was the clue. Congrats for all you who got that. Uh, the reference was pretty clear. Nice to scorn or destroying, or whatever. Um, so it looks like I'm going to be using the decoys to convince the queen that her best course of action is to GTFO. Oh boy, running! And, oh, that's interesting. Is it right outside the range of the decoy? Yes, okay, so that's why she's like, running away, oh wait, it's a bee thrower, oh wait, it's a de oh wait, it's a bee thrower. Yeah, okay, I get it. Oh, um, now if I remember right, potions, like, happen last. It's weird, because, like, watch, I'll grab it. Yeah, the queen moves. Oh, that, that's unusual to me. You'd think that bee throw would do that first. But really, po like, placing is one of the last things that happens turn-wise, so I gotta, like, if I want to move her this way off of this one, I'm gonna wait till here, so she'll move into position, and then I'm just uh, I'm actually gonna put this in a probably case for whatever reason I have to kill this mimic or decoy, I'm gonna I don't think there's any place I could have put it to make it go this way, so I'm gonna just let that go and now that it's there it's not gonna be able to do anything. How much race do we have here? Hold on, this might still work out. So if I put you here... Oh, right, and if it always goes to the last one that's placed, like, since this one was placed last and was closer, it ran from it and only it. So I probably can time this such that like, yeah, I can run up the hill here. Now I have to convince myself that what I really want to do is uh, keep it on its merry way there, so let's just keep trying that. I don't think I could have convinced it to go this way given how this only would have bounced it between those two and it'd take V pref. Uh, so that's bouncing there. You can go here, I think. And that's all groovy. Hold on. I obviously cannot get it to go up this way that I can tell. Uh, there's no place to put it to get it to drive any general this way direction, so I'm actually probably going to have to send it through this maze. Let's see if I can't make that work. Wait a minute. Uh, if I put that one lower here. You see how this like crosses these two? It should actually maybe zigzag it. Let's try that. Well, if I wasn't being dumb about it. Or uh, there. Aha! I am so clever. So now it's just running from me, the real B-throw, instead of decoy B-throw. Uh-huh. And I can probably start sending it up now if I time this right, so let's put that there. Um, that's interesting. I'm actually going to save. This is probably one of those times I want to kill them. Uh, okay, that's not what I planned on happening actually. Oh, that's also not what I planned on happening. Uh, this seemed to be a really good plan. This almost... Whoa, 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 what happened there? Oh, it's him that's causing this problem. Got it. That I didn't plan on. Anyway, I'm running out of time, so I will have to puzzle this one out of my next video. Anyway, this has been your host, Pearls, doing Beethro's Brain, and this is kind of a nightmare. <laughs> See what I did?